let's take a look at some advanced factoring. So this says factor completely. k to the fourth minus 4k squared plus 8k cubed minus 32k plus 12k squared minus 48. So there's a lot of terms there and there's a lot of things going on. The first thing you might notice is that there are some like terms here, but if my directions say to factor completely, and they haven't combined like terms for me, I'm gonna try it without that first. And then if that doesn't work, you can always go back and start over again. So I'm gonna follow the steps that are listed here. I'm gonna group the polynomial into groups of two. So you can use parentheses or underlines, whatever you wanna do to help you. Then I'm gonna factor each group of two using GCF. So if I look at the first two, k to the fourth minus four k squared. I can take out a GCF of k squared. And when I do that, I'm left inside with k squared minus four. Now I'm gonna look at the next two. Eight k to the third minus 32k. So I can take out a positive eight k as a GCF, and I'm left with k squared minus four. And then if I take a look at the last two, I'm just gonna move this over for a minute here. 12k squared minus 48, I can take out a positive 12 there. And I'm left with k squared minus 4. Now, you should notice that all of your parentheses match. If at this step your parentheses don't match, go back and check. Maybe you made a mistake, or maybe this method just doesn't work for this problem. So because my parentheses all match, they're considered a GCF. So I have k squared minus 4. And then what's left over, this k squared positive 8k and positive 12, goes in the second parentheses. And now you want to check that these two parentheses, sometimes one of them can be factored further, both of them, or none of them. So if I look at my first one, k squared minus 4, that's a difference of perfect squares. So that's going to become k plus 2 and k minus two. If I look at my second one, my trinomial, k squared plus eight k plus 12, I'm gonna set up two parentheses. I'm gonna use my sign trick, bring down my positive for the first one. Positive times a positive is a positive for my next one. If you need to, list out your factors. And I'm looking for something that adds to 12. And the factors were, sorry, adds to eight. The factors were of 12. So I'm going to use 6 and 2. So this is your final answer, or you may see this written as k plus 2 squared, k minus 2, k plus 6. Because if you notice, I have two parentheses that are k plus 2.